up everyone, Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass and today we're going to cover how you can check the website speed of your Shopify store. Before we start, I just wanted to quickly thank our sponsor. Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit, displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify App Store today. This is really important because you want to hit under three seconds on your Shopify store. When customers are scrolling through social media or any type of ads you're promoting to them and they click on that link, if it doesn't load very fast, they're not going to come. If it's like five or six seconds, they're just going to scroll to something else. It's too long to wait in this day, especially because speed is there for almost every other website. So you have to match that. So there are three websites to use to check the speed of your Shopify store. The first one is GT Metrics. The second one is Pingdom Website Speed Test, and the third one is Google Page Insights. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place my Shopify store URL in the three of them, and then from there, I'll help analyze the results and see if there are any improvements we could make. Mind you, this is a pretty brand new Shopify store with no apps on it, so there are gonna be very few metrics to optimize, but overall, it's gonna give you a general idea of how fast your store is. Right, everything's loaded now. So to start, let's go through GT Metrics. I have a page score of 81%, 94%. Overall, everything looks quite good here, so I don't think there's too much I can do. Fully load time of five seconds, which is a little slow, but I know that GT Metrics, in my experience, has always been slower than it seems on most devices because it loads everything here. It's also loading from Vancouver, Canada, which depending on your location, might not mean too much. The second one we have here is Pingdom. So Pingdom, 2.25 seconds. What I usually do is I take a both of these GT metrics and ping them and just divide each together and that gives me maybe three three and a half so a little slow so there are some optimizations I could probably make and page speed <laughs> page speed insights here is about 73 page score so maybe there are things I want to go through so this can eliminate some resources some unused JavaScript some text I could edit there are issues too with this because Shopify does a lot of the things behind the scenes and even though Google might give you negative reviews here for certain things, there's almost nothing you can do about it. Plus Shopify is optimizing for speed. So even though it's negative here, I wouldn't worry too much about it. I would look for more obvious things like image compression. Maybe there's some things or some apps on your store that are slowing things down. I would really look for those. And a great way to do that is to go down on Pingdom. You get the waterfall view here and it's gonna show you step-by-step step how things load. So maybe down here, there's my hero image that is taking seems to be taking quite a bit of time to load. Maybe I could choose a different smaller size image, compress it a little bit, that might help speed things up as well. GT Metrics also has this view. If you go to Waterfall, it's gonna give you an idea of how everything loads in order to see if to find slow blocking things in here. So if I go down, I look at Fabicon, it looks like an error, and I actually don't have that set up. So it's delaying my website by 158 milliseconds because there's nothing to load. So what I should do right away is go add a Fabicon to my store. So overall, this is how you check. So overall, this is how you check your Shopify store's website speed. I find it best to use these three sites in tandem, and as it gives you an overall perspective of your store. If you haven't yet, just hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you.